All right, welcome back. Here it is Friday night. I just checked outside the Storm Team 10 back door, uh, mainly because I was looking at the satellite picture and saw these little breaks in the clouds. And there are a few beams of sunshine, but also an interesting little texture of stratus clouds out there. If you have a chance, uh, get out and take a look at them. It may not be all over the place. It may not be necessarily at your house, but at least here in Terre Haute, just this little texture of clouds. It really is kind of neat to look at. Now here's that rain that went through here earlier today. Last night I talked about the chance of sprinkles. Turned out to be more than a few sprinkles, but not a huge downpour. And so it, it rained at least of, in some places. Actually, it rained pretty steadily for a little bit. Brought us 18 hundredths of an inch of rain here at the television station. Some of you didn't get any. Some of you got a little bit more than that. But that's out of here. We're not concerned about that at this point. Terre Haute has 68. That is the high for the day today. And Robinson 72, Casey 70, Paris 68, and Olney 68 degrees, Vincennes 70, and Bloomington 66 degrees. Now, con uh, concerning the wind, we have a west wind at 7. We have a kind of a south wind in Bloomington at 3, west in Robinson, southwest in Vincennes, Olney 3, Flora 7, Effingham 7 and Mattoon 9. And so with this wind from the west southwest, uh, this is not a real cold blast of air. If I was looking for it to be colder, if I was looking for a surge of colder air, the first thing I would look for is a change in the direction of the wind for it to start to come from the northwest. Well, that's not happening. And so it's not going to get awfully cold tonight. Actually, I think the words I used last night were somewhat mild tonight and actually a, a really pleasant evening as uh, we get into the evening hours. And once the sun goes down, it'll cool off a little bit, but it's not going to get sharply colder. Now, the only thing we have to be concerned about is once again the chance of a sprinkle or two like edging through here during the late, late overnight hours or first part of the day tomorrow. So it's just these little ripples that go through the atmosphere that occasionally wring out a little bit of moisture. But as we get further into the day tomorrow, here's noon tomorrow, it becomes mostly sunny. And so it turns out to be a really nice day and then a clear sky tomorrow night. Now the advantage of that clear sky tomorrow night is that we will have just the sliver of a crescent moon as the moon begins its next uh, set of phases. And I love that um, that phase of the moon. You'll see it in the west after sunset and the sky should be clear enough for you to be able to see it. So mostly cloudy, maybe a few sprinkles tonight, late, late tonight. 49 degrees for the overnight low and becoming mostly sunny, warm tomorrow, 74 tomorrow night. Mostly clear, a sliver crescent moon, just a little bit of a moon. Uh, 45 degrees for the overnight low. Now here we go, uh, Sunday 71. Monday 77 and then Tuesday. That's when I'm looking for showers and thunder showers because that's when I believe a cold front is going to be moving in here and that'll cool us off. So Monday 77, but by Wednesday a high of about 60, which is a little closer actually to average for this time of year, but still overnight lows stay in the 40s. So we're not talking about freezing everything up just yet. 